So today I want to show you how to connect your Akai MPK Mini or any MIDI keyboards to your FL Studio. So the first thing you have to do is actually plug your Akai MPK to your laptop or computer. So we got it on. So now you want to take the other USB, plug it onto your PC like this. Boom, now it should be on. What you want to make sure to do is go on to options over here. When you click on options, you have to go on MIDI settings. So one thing you want to make sure is that on outputs, you could be on Microsoft MIDI Mapper or even MPK Mini 2. But on the input, you want to make sure that you are on MPK Mini 2. And then you want to make sure that this button over here is clicked on enabled because if you click it off, it doesn't work it just doesn't work but let's say you click it on now it's enabled you can click on X right now let's say you click like uh, let's say you go on the snare it works it works but like you could kind of see that there's like some type of latency so I put my little this is like the speaker I'm using to have the sound so you can see that it's kind of late so for you to be able to take off the latency you have to go on to options audio settings and then you want to make sure that on devices you click on ASIO for all so once you're at on ASIO for all there's a little button who says show ASIO panel so you click on that and then you want to make sure that you click on whatever is your main audio source so the one that i'm using right now is this over here which is my uh bluetooth speakers right there so when you click on that and you're on asio make sure that you choose like the the right audio device that you're using to to hear your sound and then oh whoops wait hello oh my bad i'm, I'm on the wrong one i'm on the wrong one so yeah, you're on ASIO for all. So yeah, that's the, uh, sorry. Actually, I didn't even put the wrong, the right one. So the the Bluetooth speaker is this one over here, the SRS. So I click on this, and then I click on X, and then now. Okay, yeah, it works now. So okay, I'm gonna repeat it just in just just in case. So this is my main audio. Make sure that you have your main audio whether it's headphones or like the you have like any like interfaces or anything like that i'm using this wireless speaker you want to go on options audio settings you click on asio for all if you downloaded it if you don't have it you'll have to download it then you click on show asio panel and then you want to click the audio that you're actually using so me it's the like I'm going to repeat it is the Bluetooth speaker over here. Make sure that it's selected because you're going to you're going to freak out like me and then you're going to be like, "Wait, how come the sound is not working?" And then you're going to click any sound and now you can hear it like you can actually like click it at the same time and there's no latency, which is crazy. So I'm even going to open a little preset. I guess I could go on or not. You know what? Okay, let's go analog lab. See how it's crazy? So yeah, there's no latency at all. We can even switch sounds. So that's help. So like, now let's say you want to record your notes. You can click on the record note over here. If you want me to do another video more specified on that, you click on everything. Click on the little top button over here so you can have that little three step or whatever the hell you call it. And then Also, actually, you could put the metronome too, just to make sure that everything is timed well, so we can restart it. So that's what I got. I mean, that's not the type of beat that I would do, but that's just to show y'all how to record. So shout out to whoever was in the comments 
back there. Actually, can I go find you? Says Cabrera, thank you so much for recommending me to do this uh, little tutorial. I did that because of you. So if ever you want some more tutorials on FL Studio and MIDI keyboards, tell me in the comments and I might do it. Subscribe, like for more. Peace out.